Salam Aleikum, buenos dias. Hope you, die, ho hope you guys are doing great today. I'm um, coming in real short just to make a short little video. It's actually a confession. I have a confession for you guys. First of all, my confession has to do with using necklaces in our tradition. Because usually the necklaces that I see are made out of plastic beads, you know? Plastic beads, you know, Santeros use eleques, you know, all different colors, plastic beads. Some of them are, are, have glass. I really didn't even know they made beads out of glass that small, but I was told also. But the majority of the time it's plastic. And since I always understood the Malongo, which is nature, I always looked at that plastic necklace in Mayombe, in Palo, in Kisi Malongo as something unnatural, something that doesn't belong in, uh, in our tradition. Now, I do understand that our ancestors did wear necklaces, but their necklaces were made out of different things of nature. There was never anything plastic in it. And a lot of these necklaces had some type of medicine in them, whether it was for protection, for whatever, but it had medicine, it had meaning, and it came from nature, you know, from trees, from, from rocks, from uh, seeds, from animal bones, from animal teeth, from animal horns, you know, claws, things of this nature. So to me, that's the way it should be done. This is my understanding. And I always, I, I, didn't, I didn't criticize nobody that used it because that's not, you know, like I said, to each his own, but I never saw the true meaning of it because I always looked at it like that's fake that's plastic you know actually these days you know that plastic is one of the main things that's giving us a lot of sicknesses we having we have plastic in the air plastic in our food you know we're breathing plastic you understand is and it's causing cancer it's killing that's the reason why if you notice the government is starting to regulate plastic bags in the supermarkets. I don't know where you guys are located, but here in Philadelphia, they stop giving you plastic bags in stores. You have to bring your own type of bag. Um, or some places have the old style paper bags, like back in the days, you know, the big bags where you put, you know, and they rip and stuff, but, but they're more natural. Natural to the sense is that, you know, paper comes from trees and when paper gets wet, the more it gets wet, the, the more it starts disintegrating and it goes to back to the ground, you understand? It's not harming anything, unless it has a chemical. I do not know. But, you know, this is the reason why I looked at these plastic necklaces down upon. Like, I, was, I used to be like, hmm, nah. If I don't have something with bones or something that could get consecrated right. And I have received plastic necklaces, but I always put them to the side. I remember warm ones. You know, here, now, and there, but I always left them to the side. Matter of fact, they are my nganga. You know, because of respect, because I, I received that. And I don't want to, do, even though I don't believe in it, I didn't want to disrespect, you know, who gave it to me and, and the consecration that was done over the nganga to that necklace. It took a person to explain to me Then before I get there, when we are when we in these ATRs, right? Meaning African tradition religions, because people say religion, but let's say culture, custom, traditions. Um, we are taught that if the necklace breaks, something is wrong. Let us know. You know, whether it's your tata or whether it's your 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 padrino in Santo or in Ifa, with the Ite or the Eleke, 
you always told this, so you know that when it breaks, if this is the most you hear, let us know immediately. Like that we could divinate and find out why is there, what was the reason why it broke? Did it break because somebody threw something at you and uh, it broke because of that excess, but, or did it break just because it's old? You know, we just gotta get you a new one because the string is old and you know, it's, it's, it's time for a new one in other words. All right, so I never looked at, sorry for the sun, the glare. I never looked at the necklace like anything. I saw it, you know, kind of like, I'm, I'm gonna get it and receive it, it's fine, but you know, this is, I don't, I don't really understand this. I don't see why, especially in Malongo. You understand, I'm not talking about Ocha or Santeria or Lucum, Malongo, you know? And um, it took a person to explain to me, not only when the necklace breaks, and it breaks because there was something thrown at you, or it picked up some type of power, some type of strong medicine or something that could have probably affected you, and the necklace absorbed it and broke. Not only did it protect you at that moment of breaking, because it absorbed that at that moment, and then it broke, giving you also that indication, ding, 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 you know, like an alarm on your phone, it's time to get up, you know, as a warning. A warning. So it did two things for you. It helped you from getting hit harder and that necklace because it's consecrated and that when Fumbe that's there and recognizes that that necklace was made for that for a purpose of protection that that Fumbe through that necklace uses it as a as an absorber you know when you get a dry sponge and you take that dry sponge and it's real hard, but you put it underneath the water and you open up the faucet and you let the water hit it for a little bit, you start seeing that that sponge soaks up that water and it gets thicker. Well, look at it in that sense. As it gets thicker, the necklace breaks. Not that it works that way, just an analogy and a way for you guys to kind of understand. The thickness being the power that is absorbing the strong medicine or, or medium medicine, whatever type of medicine that was thrown or, or you walked somewhere where there was something, you know, strong at where it absorbed it, boom, and then let it affect you either as hard as that it should have, or it didn't affect you at all. Plus you have the warning of the necklace breaking. Now you go to your tata, to your yaya, and you explain what happened. And they divinate and they figure out what's the problem. Not only do you get a brand new necklace and reconsecrate it again and everything, you get to find out if anything hurt you or that was the case. And if anybody's doing anything to you, then there could be work done to resolve the matter. But I never understood beyond the plastic, beyond the string, beyond the colors, beyond the, uh, the, 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 the different amounts of beads and sequences that mean certain things. Um, I knew kind of like, okay, you know, especially from Ocha, five beads and blue, you know, mean this, uh, uh, Three beads, uh, let's say red, mean this. Uh, 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 nine beads in black, okay, means this. You know, like I knew kind of that. And I understood kind of that in that way. But in my logo, like I said, I never looked at that. Those, those plastic beads to me, they were nothing. They were just something that we picked up from Ocha or 
in order to give somebody something and not let them go empty handed, I looked at it like, all right. Because I always knew it because you always hear, you know, you know, anything happens, it will break. But I finally got somebody to explain to me the perp, not only because of the cuencas, the beads, not only the colors, not only the sequences of the caminos, not only uh, the string, not only consecrating it, not only using it as a protection, one of the most important part of that necklace, what does the Tata do to it? That will be for you to ask your Tata to explain to you the whole concept of using whether the regular necklace that goes around your neck or the one collar de bandera, collar de muerto, we say really, but some say bandera, but I believe, anyway, don't worry. Collar de muerto, collar de bandera. The one that goes sideways that you use when you're gonna go to a, um, some type of function in Palo or you're gonna work Palo. Some people put it on. Um, not to say that I'll never make me a collar necklace out of more natural uh, items, but now I understand the reason, not only because it protects you from something, plus it gives you that ding ding, the indication to go check with your madre or padrino, but now I know one of the most important parts of the collar. The other things that have to do with the colors and the amount of numbers that certain colors have and all that, that has to do with something else. Which that, your padrino or your yaya will explain to you what does this mean? Why yours don't look like your brothers or your sisters? Why yours has this amount of beads and, and the other one doesn't have that amount and this thing and that and whatever, okay? And this is my confession to you guys. You know, um, like I always say, we never know everything in Malongo. We are never going to know everything that has to do with Malongo. That's why we have to respect all the Ramas, all the sub Ramas that came out from them, all the, all the branches and the sub branches that came out from them and respect what do they do even if you don't do it? Because you never know why they do things and what's the purpose. And we look at things a lot of times, including myself, just for what it is. But we don't know what's behind that. Meaning it has more meaning it has more that has to do with just what you just see and think that that's all what it does or that's all what it is the brother opened up my mind gave me bititi to see that part and i am grateful for him and i always will be grateful for everything that this brother has shared with me. You know, all I could say, it's a blessing to have known and um, how can I say, to be able to speak to the brother and uh, to me is a blessing. So guys, my confession was that I thought that the, the plastic necklaces to me didn't mean anything. Uh, it only meant for me a color that was, that's assimilated to an empungo like what they do in Santeria. To me, the empungos don't have no colors, you understand? 
And the reason why colors is because you know that I, you know that Yemaya, you'll see her necklace blue, and they'll either have white or clear beads. Or Chung, you see, she'll be dressed in yellow, so you'll have yellow beads. You know, Chango, red beads, you know, this sort of thing. We don't deal like that in my line in Palo. We don't deal with those colors at all. We don't synchronize that with the Inquisis or the Impungos. We don't, I don't do that. But I respect all those that do. Respect to you. You have your reasons. Just like some of us cast Chamalongos using Alafia, Itagua, Eife, or Yekun, and all that, right? That that's from Santo. We respect it because they understand. They want to understand that language, understands that way. We they, they use another system. It's fine. You understand that we gotta respect everyone. That's the reason why we have to respect, 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 because we never know what's going on behind the doors. What we can't see until somebody or something gives us the bititi to see beyond what we just looking at and uh, just wanted to give you that small confession and uh, hopefully you guys can see now that your collar that you put on is just not mere beads and what I do want to say and I hope that the tatas that listen to this and the yayas that listen to this do agree with me I, I hope that when you receive a necklace, whether it is the muerto, the bandera, or the one you put on your neck, that your tata or yaya are the ones that are making it for you. That's the important part, one of the important parts. I'm not gonna say anything else, but that's one of the important parts. That your tata or your yaya are the ones that make that collar for you. Not that you went to a botanica and bought a collar and they consecrate it and put it on you. It's fine, whoever does it that way. But for me, and for what I have understood, it's better to have the collar done by your yaya and your tata. You guys have a good day. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. I pray that those powers that be protect you guys always, that your ancestors always are guiding you and helping you and uh, let's keep on looking forward backwards we don't want to go forward salam aleko maleko sala please give the video a thumb up just for the algorithm brothers half a millisecond it takes you to thumb up the video thank you have a great day